Hello Pirates, this is Dean for the Honey Tips of the Plunder Pirates. It's been a really long time I've been uploading my videos to my YouTube channel and uh, very sorry for that and my excuses because actually my iPad was totally cracked. The glass, the digitizer, the glass the front glass was broken because my wife sat on it. And I asked her why she did that and the answer was that it did not crack last time. <laughs> she was just trying it for my kids. Anyway, today's video is going to be about the Priestess, and let's try to have a look on this, the last ultimate character. She can be made by the Voodoo Hut, and right here she is. And she has an ultimate skill called the Light Knight. It's a special ability that knocks down the defense systems. This is one of the most beautiful things that can be used. I mean, it's well, like three times stronger than gunners because the gunners was about the damage was about around 52. So let's try to see how she's gonna act. Okay, I will try to deploy the uh, the brutes and the gunners first, and then uh, I am now deploying the unit called the priestess. And she has the special ability icon on her. And let's try to see how she goes because she walks quite slow. And now I'm using. Oh, that's my first time seeing. Did you see that? I'll try to let's try to see and slow videos when I press the button she has this kind of like a witch doctor's kind of a sphere but it's black it's a voodoo magic having a kind of a sphere and I think if the cannon or something is inside this black sphere the I mean hemisphere I think it's gonna be stunned and the defense systems will go down for it's gonna pause it but as you can see, she has a range of three, so she's quite far away from the cannons and the mortars. That is the problem. So it's, it's it looks quite it's hard to hit the defense systems in a range inside a hemisphere. I mean that's the point. It should be inside a hemisphere, or she must be like running like a bomber so with an exclamation mark on her head. She should be running near enough to the cannons, but she isn't. She's just I don't know, she's not smart. Her AI looks quite uh, very not that good. She doesn't look that smart. <laughs> so I think this is the problem. And she should be attacking the defense system first, like the bombers or like that, but as you can see, she attacks anything nearby. So I, it seems she does not have any AI like others. <laughs> okay, so it's full. Let's try to use it to hemisphere right now here, but. It seems that it's not affecting the ship. It affects only the defense system. But anyway, the ship is the defense system also. But why is it not affecting the ship? Who knows? Anyway. Okay, so that's it. Let's look carefully. So I think in a game, I think we can use about two to three times of this uh, ability, the 99 skill. But as you can see now, there's no defense system anymore. So that's it. Okay, so one's gonna go inside the water and sh one will be outside of water. What if I use the skill inside of water? Let's try to see this. When I press it, you can see that the swimming girl, the swimming priestess, will not use the skill. Only the girls outside will use the skill. Please take this into consideration. Okay, so I'm testing a lot of skills, how it's gonna be working. And then that's gonna be my last building. Right. Okay, so as you cannot judge a people by a first look, you have to keep meeting somebody. Like you, you have to meet her at least three or four times to know her. There, whether you can love her or not, isn't it? Yeah, in the first look, I already fell in love with her, but I think it's much better to see like three to four times. Though there is some kind of disappointment with this girl. So this time, I brought two girls, so better than one. Let's try to see how she acts. It's, it's going to be depending on her. If she acts well, I'm going to fall in love with her, but if she acts very bad, I'm going to think about it. But as I said, I'm going to try to see her I meet her three to four times. Okay, now she's going quite close enough. So I think this can be very effective to kind of these cannons near the fence. That's going to be very effective. If, oh, let's try to see, uh, see the slow video. 
Okay, she's approaching very near to the cannons, which is very adjacent to the fence. Let's try to what happens. The effect is that it's gonna have these kind of a black smoke swirling around the cannon. And it's gonna be not shooting, it's gonna be defenseless. And then while it's defenseless, the brutes are attacking and it's damaged. So that is how the effect's gonna look like if you hit it right inside the black hemisphere. And that's gonna how it looks like. Actually, my first imagination about this attack was that maybe Prista is going to shoot some kind of fireballs, I mean, a black ball, so magic to some kind of defense system from a certain distance. So it's going to, like a pinpointing, one by one, targeting, and then just uh, like making it to a sleep, like a 99. That was my imagination, but it's quite a little bit disappointing. It's not like kind of an uh, accurate attack, it's kind of a, just a hemisphere stuff. So you should be very, very accurate and you should be very fortunate that she is very close to the defense system. But what happens in this uh, this video, as you can see, is that uh, you cannot send the uh, Pristis first because she's going to die for sure. She's very, uh, she's very slow, she walks very slow, and she's going to be dead. So what happens is that you have to send Brutes or Gunners first. And what happens is that they're going to break the cannons first. And though you use it, it's if you're not in a right distance, like in this kind of case, let's try to see in slow motion. When I use it, I thought I got it right, and I thought it was in a range, but you can see that the cannon was outside. But as you can see, it blasts, it gets bigger, the hemisphere gets bigger, so I thought, maybe that is, I can maybe, that cannon is going to be inside on it, uh, it could be influenced, but it actually it doesn't. If it's not in this small hemisphere in the first uh, first beginning, that's it. It's not going to be affected. Affected. So it's quite a fr frustrating that you should be very close to it. Like a bombers, like last time I was talking about the bombers, uh, the special skill, the kaboom skill. As it's not in a certain range, it's not going to affect the building at all. It's like the same stuff. I mean, like, you have really, really a great, fascinating skill. Midoki has made it, but I don't know why, because maybe it's too strong, but still, I mean, that's the fun. Like, though I'm getting attacked, but that's the fun stuff, to see, like, my attacks going very right accurately, and it's going to be very fun to keep looking at it. Like, StarCraft, like, if you use a skill, you're, like, expecting some kind of things to be happening, and there are going to be some kind of a other anti-skill that could defend these kind of skills but anyways so i was trying to deploy one more time but as you can see she's not that smart she should be running to the cannon as fast as she can do but she walks really slow like a very like a high end end users she's not like a like a queen she's just walking that's kind of a suicidal stuff defeat hmm Anyway, this is too frustrating. Let's try to uh, test the experiment for. Okay, so this is, I think, my last time to see her for the last time. If she does not do right, I'm not going to see her anymore. That's it. I mean, she's I mean, she's quite pretty, but... I mean, what is she doing? And when you see the attack, she, you can see that she has a, a magic wand. And she, you can see that... It does not attack that fast like uh, gunners do. It shoots very slowly, one by one. So though it's like three times stronger than the gunners, that black ball right there, she's gonna be killed like that. Because it's not that strong. I mean, she's attack speed is too slow. And I'm done with her. And I think you are done with her also, right? <laughs> We're not gonna see her anymore. And I'm not. I and I'm not gonna see her anymore. I'm gonna dump her. But for the last time, let's try to see 30 girls walking around the battlefield. That's going to be fun. And how she's going to, how she's going to act without any males uh, with a protection. Let's see how she's going to do alone with only the females only battlefield. So this video is going to be uploaded on this coming Saturday and London time, the Greenwich time, and 3 p.m. December 6th, 2014. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, and you can uh, subscribe to my channel by clicking the honey jar at the 2 o'clock, and I'll be there. And for your interest, there's another news that uh, Midoki has said that they're actually working on an Android version right now, and they're hoping to have it ready in quarter 1, 2015. So it's going to be, I think, released before around like April, so 
Let's until let's wait until April. It's gonna be quite fun to play with Android users. Thank you for watching.